Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe and I own Brain Diesel. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a virtual bar chart based on the data in cells. Now, I'm going to do this without inserting a chart. I, I want this to be in the field. So this is a little different way of doing it. And we're going to do this using the repeat function. So here I have a list of the medal award, the medal winners for the Olympics as of August the 8th. What I want to go in here is I want to go equals R-E-P-T. And this is going to repeat a, give a certain text string a certain number of times. So R-E-P-T, open bracket. And now it says, well, what text do I want to repeat and then how many times? So if I put in quote dog, quote, and then comma, and then I said I wanted it three times and hit enter, it gives me dog three times. So that's not particularly useful, but here's how to make it uh, more valuable. We're going to go equals R-E-P-T, open bracket, quotation mark, because you have to have quotes around your text string. And now I'm going to hit the button, uh, press shift, and the button to the left of the backspace arrow. And that gives me a solid vertical bar. Now on my keyboard it shows this way as two bars, but it actually gives me one solid bar, and that's what I want. Then I close my bracket, so that's the text I want to repeat, comma. How many times? Well, I'll go with the total number, so 73. Now when I hit enter, it puts in 73 bars. And if I drag this down, you can see that I, I'm now getting a bit of a graph to it. But we're going to go a little bit further with this. Let me just undo that. This one here, I want to change the font. So I'm going to go to my home ribbon, and on the home ribbon, I want to choose the script font. So I go to script. Here it is. And now it just sees it without it, it takes all these uh, spaced out dashes and tightens them all up. So now it's all tightened up, and now it looks a little bit better, kind of looks like a, a volume on an electronic device or something. But if I want to have this as a, a solid line, all I have to do is bold it. And now each one takes up more space, and I get a solid bar. So that's that vertical bar, but it's thicker now, 73 times all smushed together. I'll just change that font color to green or some other color. I'll go with blue, let's say. And now when I drag this down or double click it down, you can see that I've got this bar chart going on here. If Canada wins uh, 20 gold, bang, and it adapts accordingly. Let me undo that. So it's very simple. R-E-P-T, open bracket, and then the, the vertical bar, and then how many times? Well, I chose the total. If I choose the... Um, gold instead, hit enter, and double click that down. It's a different graph. So you can decide which cell you want to be looking at and then just shoot it down and you'll have an in-cell bar chart accordingly. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Stay pumped everybody and we'll see you next week. Bye now.